Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, and we are live. My name is Pau Salud. Welcome to Powercast Sports Podcast. We have a little, a, a little bit of different setup today. Uh, I, I'm using my laptop. I don't usually use my laptop for the live. But I have my guest here from South Africa, Lilo Lidwava on WhatsApp. Uh, I'm going to just show a little bit because uh, this is a different uh, setup. So we are live with him. You, you won't probably see him uh, enough. But uh, uh, Lilo, uh, how are you? All right. Before uh, we continue with the conversation, I would like to ask everyone if you can hear Lilo well uh, when he said hello to us. Um, if you don't know him, uh, we know him in the Philippines. We know you from the Philippines because you fought Manny Pacquiao for the very first time in the U.S. He was your first fight in the U.S., but we're going to talk about that later. Uh, we'll reserve that for later But because the, we also want to learn about you. Just, I'm just waiting for some comments here. If uh, you can hear Lilo, can you can you hear Lilo or can you hear me well? Okay, so so they can't hear you. Give me a quick second. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. guys, can you hear Lilo? Just wanted to make sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can hear you, but uh, they can't. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> this is the... Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I'm just going to put you on speaker if, if this is the case. Okay. Um, uh, say say something again. Uh, hello, can you hear me now? Okay, all right, Lilo. Um, uh, can you hear Lilo right now? I think so. They have to hear now. Okay, Lilo. Uh, uh you, the the setup is different because um, we were supposed to be using Streamyard, but we had an issue with Streamyard, so I'm calling you on WhatsApp just. So people are just wondering why am I holding a phone on a camera because uh, I wanted to make sure that they, they could see you. Uh, so um, so it, let me just uh, show you to them. It's easier so they can see you there. Okay. Is it okay? Because you won't see me. You won't see me. You're okay to talk? If, if, okay. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll do it like this. Okay. All right. Okay, so you see my setup again. It's such an honor to have you, Lilo. You're you're my first South African uh, guest here on my show. This is uh, actually I would consider this the, the number one boxing talk show in the Philippines because there's not a lot of uh, this kind of show. So it's an honor to have you. I'm very honored. I'm humbled to be invited by you, bro. and I also. Uh, greet all the Filipinos around. So I'm happy that today finally I uh, was able to talk. I am able to talk to, to you guys. Thank you. Okay. Um, you're in South Africa right now. Yes, I am. I'm in South Africa. Uh, which, which which part of South Africa? Um, I'm in a part of uh, Joburg, Johannesburg. Mm. That's my town. That's the capital, right? Yeah. No, the capital is the GP, Khao Province. Ah, oh, I, I didn't and, know that. Yes, and the town is Johannesburg. Ah, okay. All right. So, um, uh, you know, everywhere in the world, COVID-19 is a problem. Uh, is this an issue as well in your country? How, how is the COVID situation in South Africa? Yes, yes, you know, it's said that uh, I mean, COVID has affected almost everything. All the departments are affected, and that is killing, uh, it's affecting our economy. 
So our life is not as it used to be. It'll be tough as soon as, as it goes with levels. Okay, right now we're in the level two, of which it was a bit difficult earlier in the level five, four, and three. But at least now it's a bit better. Looking at the, 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 the spread of this virus is now getting under control now. Okay, all right. So hope, hopefully it gets better. And, you know, in the Philippines, I just wanted to share that we have not had any boxing event here until today. So the good news is that we've been approved to do a boxing event today. But I don't know if there's any promoter that's planning to spend a lot of money for testing and all that just to hold a boxing event. Yeah. Well, we are also experiencing the event yet at a single boxing machine ever the COVID-19 has started. And of which it's only now, we are almost two weeks into whereby we are, we are now being allowed to go back into the gyms. We are, in the, we are not even training. So all the gyms are closed. So, but now we are, all, we are two weeks into training. So it's only now things are going there. But most of the boxers haven't been boxing, haven't been into sports or boxing at all. Oh, okay. All right, so if you're wondering why am I holding a phone and uh, we're on a different uh, place, uh, it's because we're having a little bit of technical issues, so we have to use a different device. But at least we're talking to Lilo Lidwaba, uh, a champion, a world champion. Uh, and uh, if you have a question for him later, we have about 70-plus uh, right now watching. It's going gonna, it's gonna to grow more. Uh, Lilo, uh, you, it's been a while uh, since your last uh, man as a professional 2006 if i'm not mistaken is that right no you correct you correct that was the year i ended i i, I decided to retire from boxing what's keeping you busy now what do you do now well uh what i'm doing now i'm running my own development i where i have my own stable uh I've had a number of champions, and then uh, since that now, since I'm starting them from the grassroots level, I mean, I've got uh, as early as maybe kids who are of eight, almost eight, seven, eight years, starting from there, coming up, up until to the champions, uh, to, to the ones who turn pros. Wow. Okay. So, so you're a, a manager and a promoter right now. Well, yes, uh, there is a company in which I'm working with, I'm a shareholder in it, that is TLB Boxing Promotion. Uh -huh. And whilst, uh, on the other hand, I'm, I'm, I'm training and managing fighters. Wow, okay. So you're still a part of boxing. But uh, aside from managing, do, do, do you still train yourself? Or is it's more on just uh, the managing side now? Well, uh, partly, yes, I do train. I do train myself, but as I train the boxers, I, I, I do partake with them. I do what they are doing in order to mm. be able to maintain my body weight mm -hmm. and as well as my physical fitness, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, the fighters that you're handling from eight years old to the, you said to the champion, so you handle amateur and professional boxers? Yes, yes, it's amateurs and pros. Okay. Well, well, I do have a guy who happens to to, to, to to run with the amateurs since I'm in the pros. But you know how boxers are. Yeah. They like to be trained by by their role models. So of which I'm willing and able to do that just to make sure that I motivate them to uh, to achieve their goals. Ah, okay. All right. Um, you know, um. So it, it's been a while, and, and I'm glad that you're still uh, involved in boxing. Uh, but as a, as a boxer yourself, what did you miss most about being a, 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 a boxer? Well, you know, uh, how difficult is it for a boxer to retire? <laughs> I mean, my life, it's hooked to boxing. I, I leave boxing, I study boxing. I work boxing, everything that I do is boxing. So it was at first it was a bit difficult for me to retire. But mm -hmm. then I was forced to retire since time and age doesn't allow me to be in a boxing for, for a long time. 
So that's how I decided to work. On the other hand, I had to come back and give back to the community, mm-hmm. give back to the young ones who wants to become a champion, future champion. So right now is what I'm doing right now. I'm busy with the young ones trying to give back to the communities. The community gave, they gave me support throughout my area. They, they spend sleepless nights without uh, just, just, just to watch me when I'm fighting abroad. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, that's a great and inspiring uh, story that you have there. Uh, you know, in the Philippines, uh, most of the boxers, uh, including Manny Pacquiao, came from the poor. Uh, and uh, I'm sure it's the same story as most, you know, everywhere else in the world. But how about your story? Can you share a little bit about how you started in boxing? And, you know, what started you up uh, as a boxer? I don't know uh, why really it's like this, but that is the way it is, it's like uh, that's how things are supposed to be. Boxing is for the ones who are normally coming from the uh, disadvantaged background. You find sometimes most of the boxers happen to be brought up by single parents. I'm saying that from experience because I happen to be one of the boxers who were brought up by a single parent, my mother, who you used to work as a domestic worker and of which didn't even get enough money to, to be able to bring us up or to bring us up. So then I had to make sure that as much as I was doing boxing, like enough that God was on my side, I boxed up until I turned pro. Mm. And I only attend pro, I turned, okay, well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a the champion, national I'm the champion twice. I won my, 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 my colors in the juniors and even the seniors. And about I only fought one year in the seniors, and after that, I was supposed to turn pro. Since they said to me I was too good for the apple for, for the amateurs, mm-hmm. then that's how I ended up turning pro. But then, uh, as a turn pro, and I turn pro at the age of, of 19, and then since I come from a background which is very poor, I had to now, with whatever that I was getting, or like being paid as a boxer, Fighting for the boxer, I had to come and help my mom, my single mom, which had uh, to, 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 to bring up my brother and two sisters because we are four. So that's how it happened. And then I ended up telling, uh, telling me, I ended up being a father uh, of my brothers mm-hmm. and sisters. Uh, my brothers and sisters, so as well as my family, had much looking after them. Help me in helping my mom to make things very easy for us. So the fridge, God was on my side that we went well. So lucky enough is that as far as boxing is concerned, my career was so bright. I, I went on winning the fight, winning one title after the other, up until I become I started fighting international fight. All right. Wow. Well, it, you know, boxing has has done uh, a lot in your life. You know, has helped improve your life. Did you ever expect that boxing will you will change your life? You know, uh, at first when I well, as I was doing boxing when I grew up, I I do I did it out of love. Uh, I never expected that one day I will turn professional and fight for money, but it was just for the love of it. And but as time goes on, uh, I turn pro. And as terrible, that changed my life because I, I, I was able to, to make a living. I was able to help my mom. I was able to take my sisters, my sisters and brother to school. And of which in that case, that made my life very easy. Okay. Wow. Uh, but it, it, when you were young, uh, was, was, was uh, boxing the, the only uh, sport that you have in mind or... Uh, is there any other sport that you, you were playing? Yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I like the question. <laughs> because uh, most of the time, that doesn't happen. I mean, as, as a kid, as you grow up, you have to do a multi-sporting uh, code. Like, for example, I used to play football. I used yeah. to play. And so, you find sometimes, uh, before, actually not sometimes, but always, always most of the time, as I was playing football and as well as boxing. Uh, between four and five, I used to go and train 
football, a four and a half past five train football. Mm. As after half past five, when I would go running, rushing to the gym, where I'm going to start uh, boxing, where I'm going to train as a boxer from six o'clock to eight o'clock. That's what that's how I used to do. And so up until uh, I, I twisted my ankle, and then I was forced to stop playing football because I felt that as much as now I, I've twisted my ankle, automatically it affects my boxing career. And I like I love boxing more than any other sport. Let's say, even though yes, I was playing football, and then I decided no, let me stop with football and concentrate strictly to box, and that helped me because it made my thing go well. Wow. Okay. Uh, thank you to the to the injury. You've decided to go to boxing and now. You've done very well in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But but the number one sport in South Africa is football. Is that right? Or is yes. it... oh yes. yeah. Football is the number one sport in South Africa. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, at least uh you know there's a lot of uh there's lesser competition going to boxing in South Africa or there's are there also a lot of uh boxers, I mean, uh, young kids uh, going into boxing in South Africa these days? You know, if I may tell you, it's, uh, as we go back, uh, this uh, football is number one sport, and then at first it used to be followed by boxing, but now things are taking a, a, deep, a deep dive oh. into boxing, but, but even if it's like that, we still have superstars, we still have our, our our boxers, more especially from the side of uh, the, the, the medical commission, whereby they are doing well. But then now we are now in the multinational uh, a democracy country South Africa, in which we are mixing black and white together, mm -hmm. and then things are now coming nicely and very uh, positive. Okay. Well, hope uh, South African boxing uh, will get better. Uh, like when you were still fighting. Well, we, that is what we are fighting for. We want to make sure that those go back to where it used to be. Okay. And, and talking about where it used to be, this is going to be a topic that a lot of Filipinos are, are, are going to be interested to know. Uh, well, aside from the Pacquiao fight, first, I want to know, what is your most memorable fight uh, in, during your professional career? Which I feel that uh, it was great and I performed well is the one when I fought in Mr. Gray. It's number one, and then and this one that I fought Barretino. Uh -huh. I fought Barretino twice. I fought Barretino twice, uh, where I won both fights, of which uh, that also were one of were by my fights, which uh, made me who I am. Actually, they gave me more courage and gave me more strength. <laughs> and up until I met many, of which I don't know you guys are aware of it, but I know that most of the people are aware of it, that many came in as a late substitute. I was given two days before the fight of many, or the notice towards the fight of many fights. And of which at that time, I was told that many were like a nobody who happens to come from a flyway coming up in a better way. And knowing myself, what kind of fight I am, and then what actually puzzled me is that I never even knew that many was self for you see. The uh -huh. only time I realized many was the self for it when we went for a clinical checkup. Uh -huh. Oh. Also, given this tape when he fought as a flyweight, was well, dropped, but stood up and then knocked the guy out. You see, and of which at that time, the only truth is that I saw me being an average fighter, not with the the one which I, I never even expected getting any problem. But knowing very well that when you go to fight the South Pole, you don't just fight the circuit, you don't just jump into the ring and fight. You need to have enough time to prepare 
a sense in South Africa. We only have a number, we don't have that much South in hand that I was going to apply the South for. I went to the South for, you see. So I did not, and I discovered that you know, it prepared for me. It's like, you know, fighting someone who knows you, and you have been seen him. I haven't so seen him before. I've never been heard of him before. I've, up until I entered into the ring again. And that was the only time. Actually, that's where things started to change. Okay. And of which, sometimes along the round, uh, in the second round, there was some kind of an accidental headbutt, of which that broke my nose in the second round. And uh, after that, I because I was fighting more on survival than fighting, you see, up until I was stopping losses. And even when I was stopping losses, the punch would stop me. It's not a fight that would have like dropped me in my previous fight, but because the punch it landed at the right spot and at the right time. It landed right on top of my nose, and by that time, my nose was, was broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, from what you said, and we, we've heard this before, like, like, of course, Manny was replaced me. You were really surprised because you, you didn't know until... Well, uh, one day, a day that he is a southpaw, and that gives you a lot a of problem. Boy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But uh, during before the fight, when when you know that, that uh, when you learn that he's a southpaw. Did you ever expect that uh, you will have, have uh, you know, Manny will, will be such, such a, you know, that kind of a fighter that, that you fought him, that he was so fast? Uh, what, what were you expecting of uh, Manny, who, who you? Do not know, but you know what were you expecting uh, before that fight? Well, uh, mind you, being a champion, you tend to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You tend to have, have a belief that nobody can come in my way and stop. Mm -hmm. and, and so at that time, uh, we, we spent almost, I think, uh, three, between three and four weeks in America, and of which the opponent was Sanchez, who mm -hmm. was to fight suddenly, and then he was changed just. In the week of the fight, uh, I mean, we were told on Monday, whilst we were fighting on Saturday night, that we, uh, I mean, uh, my opponent has injured, has been injured in the gym. Mm -hmm. so, so he has been changed. He uh, replaced uh, replaced by many fights. Shall and many. Was no good. And to be honest, to be honest with you, but sometimes along the way, I feel that I felt that I was, I was uh, uh, actually, I was sold. My title was sold out. You understand? Because I did, I did not um, uh, there are certain 
things which I didn't agree with the promoter at that time. And of which, oh. uh, when you look at how things went, yeah, it's exactly like that. Like at some times, some stage, I was so uh, my own country man. Oh. That's uh, I didn't know that. Uh, well, that. Hmm. Okay. That, that's that's something that uh, I didn't know, know, and uh, I feel bad if you you feel feel that. Uh, you know, some, somehow uh, you got sold in that fight. But af after the fight, did you ever want to get a, maybe a, a rematch? Because you didn't know Manny, maybe you get another crack at him. What happened? That is exactly that is exactly what made me to say my title was sold because since maybe you came as a list substitute. Uh-huh. As this time having, having enough time of preparing for the fight for for each fight. You understand? Knowing very well the kind of fight I'm going to fight. Of which will never happen. And the worst part of it is that uh, after that fight, uh, the relation I had with the promoter uh, ended there. Okay. Wow. 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 Uh, I, I'm hearing this so story for, for the first time. Uh, I, I I feel sorry about that. But uh, anyway, uh, um, you know, these are some of the things that happen. In boxing, that not a lot of fans know. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, politics. Uh, you know how politics are. Yeah. yeah. There's more, more politics in in sports than any other place. In the world, uh, uh. and so the sad part is that those who have happened to do the public do they use what they have against those that. In the air. Like, for example, the promoters. Promoters are the ones who are to 
give the, the real deal to the boxers. Mm -hmm. To the poor boxers. Because they know very well that they have nothing to do and nothing to offer. All that they want is start to fight. She's not fair. That's how now being a, a member of a, a shareholder of this team people's promotion. I will never even a single day do any Think that I know that it will jeopardize the future of a fighter. What is important that is to make sure that the folks that get support that they need up until they become some. Okay, that's very, very good to hear. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, uh, those are the things, the bad things. But overall, all you who had a, a very good career uh, in boxing, uh, I consider you as one of are the best from South Africa and talking about politics I just want to ask you Manny now is a politician and a boxer um, did, did you ever run or plan to you know Seems like you're a good guy. You, you want to help your country? Have you considered running for office? To be honest, you know, uh, uh, many for me is one difficult person to reach to. Mm. After so I communicate with him, I send him a request on Facebook of which he accepted me, but then after that, they are not talking between myself and him. And I really don't know why. And no feedback. It's very sad because I want to person who's very, very humble mm. and at some stage I would really want to talk to him, like wishing him the best of luck, wishing him, you know, because for having, having fought him, that doesn't mean in myself and in their enemies. Mm -hmm. No, we are not. And we can not be. Because to be happen to be doing what we love most, which is boxing. Of which, even though yes, I'm saying this, I still, I still try to communicate with him. Because uh, uh, I believe that we need to talk with to men. Mm -hmm. I swear to enter into the ring and thought that that doesn't mean that now we are in so whatsoever. That's great. Okay. So, um, what? In, 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 in,
magician and it's one in ten wherever you find a fighter that has to be in the politics. But then if it's like that, it shows that he's being loved and, and appreciated by the Filipinos. And more especially knowing very well the kind of thing that he has done for the poor people out there. Where he built the houses and all that on the feet. Just like doing that, I respect him a lot. I respect him. He deserves, he deserves more than me. So, when was the last time you, you actually had a, a conversation? Session with Manny Pacquiao. Do you remember? The one thing is that I never had a conversation in the team. Oh. I had a talk with him, and I'm so dying to talk to him. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's uh, that's too bad, but but uh, uh if, if you any in his team watches this, this uh, the thing about Manny is that uh, his is. His, I think his, his Facebook is managed by uh, just uh, his, his social media managers. So I don't know if, if he's really in Facebook. So, <laughs> uh, but if, if you have a message for man. Hey Pacquiao, what, what what would you want to say to him? Yeah. Uh, I think well, uh, I, I wish him the best of luck. He's one of the greatest fighters that we have, no matter what. Uh, he may have fought Blake well and others who happened to defeat at the end of the day, he is still one of the best. And so, I so say is that uh, in me, even though yes, he has fought and won against me, but he has won a fan in me. Okay. Which I'm one of those who happened to raise his hand, his, his name on air while he's fighting against any other fighter. Oh. All right. I appreciate that. And uh, here in the Philippines, the, the boxing fans appreciate you. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you're, you, you are a great fighter. You may have lost to Manny, but we know you here. You're popular here. And uh, the reason why I am talking to you is because, you know, you know people has asked uh, you, you, you know, uh, if Whoever fought Manny Pacquiao, we appreciate them because uh, it is uh, somehow uh, like uh, 
you've been part of yeah, of uh, Manny Pacquiao is a national treasure here, so you've been part of that, and we appreciate that. Now, now um, I, I want to ask, I I I want to ask you here, uh, you have haven't been in the Philippines yet? Have you been here? No, I haven't been. I haven't been in office. I would love to to visit sometimes okay. if things goes well. Yeah, if things goes well and let's just say uh a promoter, a manager, or someone wants to invite you here. Here, uh, you're open with the going to the Philippines. Maybe you know talking to boxers, things like that. At You know what? That is what I do. That is the best that I do. Motivating, being a motivational speaker, trying to encourage people to partake in the books. And so along the way, if it happens that I get a chance like that, to be honest, I will come run. I will fly. Very quick, as soon as yesterday, coming <laughs> to Philippines. Okay. All right, and so maybe you know, if someone asks me about you, I will I will recommend you here in the in the Philippines once things get better. Uh so I can show you around. The Philippines. Um, no. I, I want. I, mind you, again, mm. another thing is that I have a number of of directly in my Facebook page and as well as all on Twitter. There's a Filipino fish. I appreciate the support that they give and as well as uh, them uh, stating themselves patriotism. There you will support many, but they still support me as well. Definitely. You're a great boxer. Uh, during your career uh, in boxing, how many? Well, I um, rated uh, World Title. That's where it was an IBF once. Okay. Uh, WBF and African Title. Mm -hmm. Lilo, would you consider yourself one of the best South African boxer of all time? Well, that's what people say about me. Great. And I'm also happy and I'm Africa ahead. I was followed by so many people. And sometimes, whereby where things are not going well, but some people will always be going to fight. You happen to kill the flag of your country. You make sure that you fight and win against any other fighter that, that you first cease fights or, or to work hard, kept pushing. Me. That's what made me to, to see myself as one of them or being appreciated as one of the best fighters in South Africa. So to be able to speak to one of the South, Afri South African boxing, could you give a top five boxer? Of all time from South Africa? Previously. No, all time. All time. All time. Name uh, uh, of Soweto. Uh -huh. he, he used to be my sparring, uh, my, my team he was Welcome Mita, who happened to hold the very same title that I need. That is another fighter who happened to be great. Mm -hmm. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, hit the notification bell.